the Brooklyn Nets in the 2017-2018 season are absolutely going to make the playoffs. This is the ignorant shit you like. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Meech, the people's journalist. And I'm just coming to hit you with some facts real quick. Some facts. In this upcoming 2017-2018 season, the Brooklyn Nets are going to the playoffs. Let's take it from the top with our newest acquisition, D'Angelo Russell. He's ready, motivated. Magic Johnson the made him mad. He done pissed my guy off. I didn't really care for D'Angelo before now, but now that he's a Brooklyn Net, he's absolutely the man. He's the best player in the New York area. But let me set this up for you. And I'm talking if Jared Sullen just signs. If he don't sign, this video is a little weird, but I'm going to keep going from here. Let me just set up the lineup for you. At point, we got Jeremy Lin. Fire. Lin Sanity. All he got to do is stay healthy and we straight. At the two, this is my lineup. They probably run it different, but this is my lineup if I had to run things. At the two, I'm going with the God, the young God, D'Angelo Russell. The young Brooklyn Nets, the future of my franchise. The one that will lead me to the promised land one day. At the three, I'm going to say we start to do what we put all that money into. I say go Allen Crabb. Three and D. Off the Jeremy Lin and D'Angelo Russell driving penetrates kick out to my boy. I'm trying to let I'm trying to like show y'all how low-key loaded we are. In 2K, I'm getting it popping. But anyway, at the four, I'm stuck. For our future, I wanna say Rondé Hollis Jefferson. But for sheer experience, I wanna say Damari Carroll. But for the sake of building the D'Angelo Russell RHJ combo, I'm gonna say start him at the four. And at the five, I say go ahead and start Mozgov. See what I'm talking here? That's a fire starting lineup. Don't play yourself. We winning some games. Remember, we in the East. We in the East. Remember that. So make sure you keep that a part of it. We are in the East. But let's go off the bench. We got some young gods on the bench like Karis LeVert. If you don't know who Karis LeVert is, that's fine. When the Nets come up, he's going to be a huge part of that success. I'm going to go Isaiah Whitehead. That's the Brooklyn kid. I like his swagger. That's all I need from him. I just, I just like his ump. Him off the bench at point with Levert at the two, that's our future. If it wasn't for D'Angelo, they were the future starters. I'm sure one of them, preferably Levert, will be starting in the post Lynn era whenever that is, which probably isn't for a while, but that's fine. I'm okay. I'm actually okay with him. But let's see who else. Then I guess you can go ahead and throw Damari Carroll right there off the bench. We got Jared Sullinger, if he could come over, we got him off the bench. I don't know, on 2K, I may start him. Because I got this thing where I be needing a shooter as a big, and Rondé ain't it, and neither is Mozgov. So I may start him on 2K, but for real life purposes, I think I want him off the bench. But I would be fine if they start him over Mozgov, but I like Mozgov back, they date back to my, uh, my LeBron days when he was a Cleveland Cavalier, so that's my boy. See, this team, I see us building this like how the 76ers built the squad when they had Allen Iverson and they went to the finals. Because, like, Jeremy Lin ain't scaring nobody on defense. Let me clarify that right there. But we low-key became a defensive juggernaut. We got some clampers. We got Mozgov holding down the paint. We got Damari Carroll, 3 and D. We got Rondé Hollis Jefferson, who's going to grow into being an excellent defender. Stuck some young defenders around the young gully guard so he can work on offense. So that boy D'Angelo can work that offense. Now I worry about our shooting. We got some shooters, but I I'm we you know in today's NBA we need like some lights out people. Like we need some light outers. So I'm gonna need Alan Kraft to go in his bag and get that. Yeah, you know I'm talking about another defensive player, as a matter of fact. I didn't even name him on that. I'm gonna need him to go in his bag because when that come on now. Lynn, D. Russ, Allen Crab on the wing. Come on now. Come on now. But I need y'all to realize we are here. The Brooklyn Nets. We about to make the playoffs this year. I want to keep it a buck with you. That's the reason why. I need to keep this a secret. That's the reason why the Cavs don't want to make this trade. They know that number one pick ain't worth none no more. They know that the Brooklyn Nets is going to the playoffs. They see us. You see as soon as the Jared Sullinger news start popping up, that's when them boys all of a sudden thinking about backing out the trade. Don't sleep on the Nets. What seed? 
I'm gonna say eight to be safe, but I'm really feeling a seven. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm really feeling a seven seed coming. We gonna shock the world out here in Brooklyn. I don't think people really realize the, the one-two punch we sitting on with, with Lynn and, and D. Russ. I don't think people really realize the guard rotation we got in general. If anything, we only lacking that bigs and experience. You give us some time, we might, ooh, okay. Now, when we make it to the second round of the playoffs, I don't know. But I do know one thing. We pushing whoever we do face. I'm also going out in the state right now. D'Angelo Russell's winning most improved player of the year. That's facts. Locked up. No competition. Now, with that said, though, I do need them to not make the playoffs the next year. We get our draft pick back, and we on the race with Zion. So, make sure that happens. It's been a long time since we've had something to be excited about in Brooklyn. We here, baby. Brooklyn, stand up. Brooklyn, we go hard. We go hard. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. But I think the Lakers finally gifted us something in D'Angelo Russell, so we got to definitely take advantage of it. That's our cornerstone going forward. I'm definitely getting my D. Russell jersey when the season starts. I got some things going on that I'm trying to do for the Nets throughout the year, though, so keep your eye on that. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it right now so that you do know the Brooklyn Nets have been my favorite team since they, uh, since like the year before they got to Brooklyn, like during the transitional period. LeBron has always been my favorite player, and I got little favorite players sprinkled out throughout the league that will, over time, you will notice or whatever. But just letting you know my alliances, like, we with the Nets fully, Brooklyn, whatever, it's, you gonna see. Because on this channel, I'm going hard for my Brooklyn boys. Also, I got to change the direction of the page that I'm going to be talking on in the future. Right now, I'm a little down, dislocated my shoulder. But it's okay. I'm going to come back, and I'm coming back tenfold. And that's when we expand the channel. Irrelevant ignorance. Yeah. This is the ignorant shit you like.